YouTube, my sweet baby girls. Now I know what you're thinking, Daddy, we've missed you so much. And uh, I keep abandoning you guys. I feel like every video I come back and be like, hey, I'm gonna start nectaring you more. And unfortunately, a week goes by and I haven't posted and I come back and I go, I'm so sorry, baby girls. I'm an abusive father. But if you guys wanna see me almost daily, and I literally mean almost daily, I have a Twitch where I live stream almost daily. Did I mention it's almost daily? Twitch.tv slash DBK videos. We do a lot of things like uh, <clears throat> self-harm, mutilation. Play Valorant is what I meant to say. Family friendly DWK videos. But not for real, I stream a lot on Twitch. So it's in the description. Just download, you know, just it's right there. Anyway, we got some more TikTok military content. Of course, it's our favorite stuff to digest. My For You page couldn't get any more toxic. And I don't mean toxic as in these guys are doing anything technically wrong. I meant toxic for my mental health that I can't see regular funny videos and I have to see uh, military strip teases because my algorithm's all fucked up and I did it for you guys. Every time I save one of these videos to my device to later make a compilation, my algorithm thinks I wanna see more of it. Maybe by the end of my military career, the VA will diagnose me with PTSD from these videos. If there's any VA lawyers in the chat today, please let me know in the comments and let's jump into it. Is that a fucking stripper pole in the barracks? <laughs> what? What do you do during room inspections? She's gonna have to let me know what she widens her teeth with because I need to get on that. I drink too much coffee because I'm a miserable human being. Oh no, the one guy who didn't join. Aw. Bro, I thought this phase was over. Or are these videos just like outdated? The algorithm on TikTok will feed you videos from months ago. I don't get it. See, I like these type of military TikTok videos. Hannah, keep making videos like this. See, this one isn't as cringe. This one isn't as cringe. You know what I mean? See, now this. Man, that's all I'm saying. I'm gonna get a ride home. Like, I ain't got no ride home now. Damn, bro. You think anybody in here can give me a ride home? Anybody? I live like down the street. I just need somebody to, some, anybody. <laughs> Anybody can give me a ride. I like this guy. Come on. Leave the shaking the world for the men? I don't think so. I don't think so. Shot. Fired. You're fired. You're washed up. You're retired. We follow each other on Instagram now. All right, we're going to make a business deal. I'm going to give her a soap affiliate code for my soap company. <laughs> Hanny, you let me know if you want that affiliate code. You get 10% of the commission. <gasps> Fake ass. Bro, that would literally be soul crushing when you're deployed on a ship because you're not gonna go be a loser and get in line after your watch and go eat by yourself at a table, bro. Me and my boy Dylan had this understanding, right? If one of us went to chow without them, the other one was gonna go back to their rack and kill themselves. So if you didn't want that on your conscience, you waited, you know what I mean? Any time one of my boys had watch right after we got released from medical quarters, I would wait, cause I'm a good guy. I'm a good friend with a nine inch dick. But no, for real, that's some backstabbing ass shit. If you go to the defect without your boys, bro, bad karma, rest of your life. You know what's nuts? All three of the gir these girls, I guarantee, are gonna do more pull-ups than I can. She's using a fucking door frame? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, holy shit, Lily just shit on both of you guys if she was about to use the fucking door frame to do that. <laughs> I was about to say, bro, Lily, bro, if Lily would've pulled that off, bro, Joel would've had to retire. Sergeant 
Bro, E8s in the Marine Corps look so different than E8s in the Navy, bro. E8s in the Marine Corps look like E3s in the Navy, like physical body-wise, just ripped out of their mind. Fitness isn't a big thing once you make it up in the Navy, bro. Aw, Unaclass boot. Why did I just say Unaclass like it's anime? Unclass boot. Jesus. She's on deployment right now, you guys, all right? Have her in your prayers. She's about to go fight the fight. All the way across in your house. That I serve too. They should know my husband's rank before I leave. <laughs> uh, Svedka. Oh, God, that gives me nightmares. Where would Marines be without their duty belt, bro? Like, how could you possibly know someone's on duty without it? Uh, at least it's not Fort Hood. You're safer there. <laughs> I want to be a recruiter just to fucking get on recruiter TikTok, bro. For real. Sucks, bro. We had it all along, Marines. We've had it all along. We can get hand tattoos, neck tattoos, you name it. I have a tattoo of a golden retriever on my cock. Get on our level. Cock golden retrievers. Hey, pal. You just blowing from stupid town? Get your tab in CIB and act like a real NCO, you Walmart version knockoff Prince wannabe. Stop embarrassing the uniform in your stupid TikToks. <laughs> that guy in the comments had some pent up anger, bro. That guy in the comments, bro, something happened to him. <laughs> he had a staff sergeant fucking beat his ass in the past and now he's just repressing it. <laughs> oh no, he's just letting it all out of the bag. Dude looks like the staff sergeant that beat his ass and he had to let him know in the comments. But at night, when we go to bed down, I'm gonna have the men do patrol base operations and pull security. What do you guys think? Yeah, um, I'ma say, sir, that's a stupid fucking idea. There's literally no point in practicing sleep deprivation and laying in the prone when I could literally give a class and walk through it during the day. You should care less about your stupid OCER bullets or whatever the fuck they're called and more about the well-being of your men and the morale so they can fucking get the job done better. You know what I mean, sir? You know what? I'm gonna say it. I don't give a fuck about your morale, Sergeant Martin. I don't give a fuck about your sleep. I don't give a fuck about your food. I don't give a fuck if you're happy or sad. I care about promoting to major and getting paid more. That's all I care about. You understand me? No, dupe. That's gonna go, dude. That's so that's so oddly realistic. Oh. Oh my god. So sturdy, Rebecca. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I cheated. What is your response? Oh no, you're done. <laughs> What? What does that mean? What does that fucking mean? Who was that? What do you mean? That fucking girl that you were talking to, Tony. Who fucking else? Oh, it's because she said she liked my shoes. You guys better be careful. She has the fake karate black belt. All right? I got mine in the past, and it means I can beat anyone in a fucking knife fight for the next hundred years. Alright. Oh, 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 the synchronized! Stranger.
Fit check. Fit check. Fit check. You know what's unfair? You know what's unfair? As a dude, I can't get away with doing fit checks. If I posted that to my personal Instagram, well, first of all, the community I've created on YouTube is so unbelievably toxic. Not that I have anything bad to say about that. I, I'm their fucking cult leader. I am a cult leader and I've created a community they'll turn against me. But for right now, for some reason, they're being tame. If I were to upload a fit check video with just me in different uniforms, I, it would be all over. Reddit's, shit my LPO says, doesn't matter, I'm getting flamed. In 2023, I want gender equality. I wanna be able to post my outfit of the day in uniform without someone getting on my ass. Every now and then I'll throw a little kid in uniform in, like a maid cafe in Japan. Give you guys a little treat, a little cat snack, if you may. If I may, you may, you may. See you guys on Twitch later.